All right, guys, it's January 5th, 2018, which happens to be my mom's birthday. Happy birthday, mom. So I figured today is a good day. I think I should pick a card. So um, I've been doing a lot of Oracle cards lately, so this time I'm going to change it up. And I will show you the cards I'm working with today. It is a Marseille deck. Tarot de Marseille. Tarot de Marseille is from Paris, France. It's a French deck. So um, these, this deck has every card written in French. So this is Cavalier de Coupe. So it's the Knight of Cups. Um, I do know French, so I can do that. The deck itself, like the instructions and stuff, um, come in English, but you, the traditional one, it's French. I actually have an old, really old Marseille deck from Paris, and, uh, yeah, that was my first deck, really, was given to me by my stepdad, and I still have it. Old it's like this one, but old. It's old. You can tell the difference between a warehouse bought, bookstore bought, and a, a traditional deck, a real deck. Anyways, so we will start by random pick. I will pick. Doesn't matter. I will pick. That would be the. Swords. I think because six of swords, it's hard to tell. Yeah, you know, sometimes you have to think, is that a staff? It could look like a weird looking staff, but those are like the baton, some sticks, right? Wands, wands is baton, wands, staffs, swords, cups and pentacles. Yeah, so this would be a sword. I'm <laughs> just jerking around. Sorry, guys. All right, so six of swords. So instead of interpreting this like the old French gypsies did, I will actually read to you from the book. Oh, by the way, it's the book of illustrated tarot. It's a generic book, right? But it doesn't matter. All right, so we need the minor arcana and we want, we were six of swords. Where is it? Six. I don't even think this book, it's not even a Mar Marseille book. Look at that. The book has a Marseille deck in it. It's a Marseille deck. But if you look inside, it's a Rider Wait. Rider Wait? That's a completely different deck. Okay. All right. So. Six of Swords, my people. <laughs> the Six of Swords is one of the most peaceful cards in it, this troubled suit. It's true, swords are in much trouble, but cool, especially Ace. It suggests that you are leaving your worries behind and moving forward into a happier face. This movement may relate to any area of life surrounding cards should make this clear. An unhappy relationship is improving. Financial difficulties are less pressing. An anxious, worrying period is drawn to a close. Movement and journeys on the physical plane are indicated too. This card often augurs travel of some kind. So maybe a travel is in the plans? Yeah. Um, uh, journeys noted by the Six of Swords are distinguished by the fact that they are frequently marked the end of a hard time. They can also be rest restorative and help you clearly think clearly about your future. Peace and balance should be renewed upon the return of the trip. Okay, so anyway, so if you didn't understand my babble there, it's basically saying that you might plan a trip in the future. Um, coming up, I guess, you want to travel maybe, and it's good for you if you do do that, so that's awesome. Um, it's a beginning, it's a beginning, a renewal, out with the past, in with the new 2018, we're January beginning, a lot of people are resolutioning and uh, trying to 
you know, sort out what they want to do for the new year. So this is a perfect card saying that, you know what, just leave the junk behind, sweep the rug and move forward. And if you're going to travel or go someplace, it's really good. You need to get rid of the crap. So it did say when you're, it's coupled with another card that it indicates the overall. So I'm going to do card two. I'm just going to pick the top one. All right, guys. Oh, well, that's interesting. <laughs> well, death doesn't always mean death. Here, death. <laughs> the death card. Wow. So it's number 13 in the Major Arcania or whatever deck. Minor, mi major, whatever. It's a major card. And it's death. Now, I'm sure even most people that don't know tarot would know that death is not necessarily a bad thing. And it's right side up, which is good. That's, again, more renewal. I can tell you that. It's uh, letting go of the bonds and the shackles on you. Uh, but let's see. Let's see what we got here. Oh, look. This picture for judgment has the Marseille. Hmm, it's got both, apparently. All right. So we're on... Number 13, death. So death with the six of swords, to maybe some travels and some um, renewals, some goals, things to go ahead. And with the death card, death, the grim reaper, is often portrayed as a skeletal figure with a scythe in the tarot and in art. This image played an important role in the medieval art while death is allocated a significant place in all the world's mythologies, seen by some cultures as a mistake, by others a punishment for our sins, or an agreement between the first man and the first woman. Behind those stories lies an idea that long ago people could renew themselves and that death was a temporary state of affairs. See where this is going, guys? Let's see where it's going. Okay. So anyways, cut to the chase. They always have like a big, big, huge page full of stuff about death card. We can skip to that. All right. So it's this one comes does, does reversals and it was right shot side up. So more than any other tarot image, death is frightening to both inexperienced reader and anxious core end. Mm. Most people are afraid of death, so many modern interpretations of this card suggest that it means change. But the idea of confronting something implacable and alarming must not be completely brushed under the carpet. Oh, I already said to swipe the, sweep the rug. Hmm. When you draw this card, it is certain that something is coming to an end. This experience may be painful and difficult to come to terms with. Residents to this change may work for a time, but not forever. There is no need to fear. Death promises that transformation will follow. Some old and outworn part of yourself is dying, and your circumstances will eventually reflect this. This card cannot be taken lightly. Yeah, it's serious, yo. Major changes lie ahead, and you may require time to mourn that you are leaving behind. Think of it in terms of life itself. Each phase serves the next purpose as we move on to the next. Death and tarot promises a new life once you are free of the old one. Occasionally it does not you, you know what I hate about these books when they say stuff like that? They're like, well, in some decks it means this, and some people in this age say that it means this, but we're not, you know? And then they end up saying the same freaking thing. And did you ever notice that? I I noticed that in a lot of decks that like in some decks this means I I hate that like you know what I don't care this is this deck and that's what matters not in other decks and how you compare I hate that you know like it can mean one thing to one person and to someone else it can mean something else I mean if you take this and you say literally if I get the death card today it means like someone's sick you know I'm never gonna you know put out there or the other thing 
you know, and it happens and they're like, oh my God, the death card work. Well, you, you did that. You chose what that card was going to signify, you know, like, and it doesn't matter what everybody else thinks. Anyways, anyways, <laughs> the lesson in tarot, don't listen to what the other decks think. You're doing one deck and that's what matters. I hate that shit. Anyways, so in conclusion, people. Um, we're going forward to 2018. It's a new year. A brush out the rug and, uh, but you know, it's hard. Some things are hard to let go. It might not be as easy as a sweep, but you know what? This is confirmation that it needs to be done and you'll be a lot happier doing it. So on to a fabulous 2018.